Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to another edition of Chris's Inked Pens. And this is February 2020. These are the pens that I've got inked up. Um, we're gonna look at them first. Then we're gonna look at the uh, panel of colors that I chose for this month. And then we'll do a writing sample. And after that, we'll flip back really quickly to the January inks and pens and just take, we'll take a look at my report card of how I did with the combinations last month. So just real quick before I start, February is gonna be all about letter writing. So my first six pens I chose um, almost exclusively by the nib and uh, the fact that I knew they'd be great for, for pen pal letter writing. It is the month for Inco Rimo, even though I'm not officially participating in that and there's a little confusion about um, you know that website right now. I'm still writing my pen pal letters and I'm gonna write one at one a day, so 29 in February. Um, and then the other two on the end are for note taking. So let's just talk about what the pens are first. First one here is a Noodler's Ahab. And this, I think this is called the Cherokee uh, finish, but I'm gonna look that up before I publish this because I don't wanna make that wrong for you. And then what I've done is I don't have the best of luck with the flex nib that comes on it. So I've put a Yo-Wo broad nib on it just because I know this is a, a super good writer, a super comfortable um, to write with. So I wanna write with it, even though, um, you know, I'm still working on trying to write with the, the nib that came with it. So there's that one. And then this is a beautiful purple pen that a pen friend sent me. And it's actually called a Moonman M600S. And according to the paper I got, it's violet purple celluloid. So it's really, really pretty. It's got the gold trim. Um, got a little bit of glare here, which I can't do a whole lot about. Sorry about that. Um, and I have also, I've put a broad Yowo nib on this one as well, because I know that's what I like for letter writing. So those number six interchangeable nib, uh, any pen that can do that is my friend. <laughs> really is. So next up, um, this is the beautiful Jinhao X750 in the pink. Uh, I had gotten really tempted last year and couldn't resist uh, after I saw someone had one of these um, that they put in a lot of their photos on Instagram. And I already had, I think, three X750s, but I didn't have a pink pen at all. And I thought, oh, just gorgeous. So what have I got on this? Well, I moved over my review nib. It's a Goulet 1.5 stub. And so that's gonna be really nice with the ink I chose, which we'll get to shortly. Okay, and the next one is another one of my Twisby Goes with a broad nib. I have two. I think one of the broad nibs is a, the clear and this is the sapphire. So this is broad, broad nib. Um, great for letter writing and I love these pens. Okay, then next up is uh, my Twisby Eco in the translucent purple. I love this pen. It was a purchase last year, and I do have what came on it, which is the 1.1 Twisby stub on there. And it's, uh, oh boy, I picked a good combination of ink because it's really writing wet, and I'm excited, I'm really happy about that. So the next one, is the Diplomat Magnum. This is in the prismatic purple. Right now we're seeing mostly blue, but the purple comes out to play in the finish too sometimes. And this is the broad nib. Okay, I love how it writes. Okay, then the next one is my Lamy Vista with a uh, Lamy Fine nib in it. And I'm planning to use this for note taking, just like I showed in my um, Chris's combinations this week. So this is, these two are mainly for note taking. And they, I may bring them out for letter writing too. Okay, so the Pilot Varsity. Oh boy, I've had this pen for a long time and I've known for a couple of months that it was running out of ink, but I did get it uh, taken apart with my section pliers the other day, pulled, pulled the section out and uh, cleaned the section and the entire, you know, the barrel, I guess it goes to about right here. I thought it was all the way down, but anyway, it still held more than two mils and I've got it uh, inked up and ready to go and I'm so happy. I couldn't be more happy with myself about that. I actually wanted a, a couple of more of these um, 
in different colors, but first I wanted to find out. So it's been a, a long process because this the ink in this pen lasted a long time. It's been a long process to use up what was in there when it was really nice ink, but I think I found a good ink to go in there. So let's talk about the inks next. I've got, I think this is going to work. It may take a little bouncing up and down and um, rearranging, but let's, yeah, I think this will work pretty good. Okay, so um, first up is uh, Diamine Red Dragon. It is, you know, Valentine month and I wanted a red and I feel like I'm really comfortable with that red. It's pretty and yet I haven't actually written with it as much as I'd like. So I have a small uh, 30 mil bottle that a pen friend sent. And then next up is the Ink Journal Holiday Blend Sugar Plum. This is a special uh, recipe that Ink Journal, that Tom at Ink Journal did. And a pen friend, would you believe, mixed me up some because she had the uh, the inks that, uh, the mixable, mix, <laughs> ooh, I can't say the word, the mixable inks that uh, were required for the recipe. She was so dear and, and mixed it up and sent me some. So it's a beautiful purple. And then next is Diamine Hope Pink, uh, nice, bright, pretty pink. And uh, I have a sample of that thanks to a pen friend. I had a sample that I used all of mine and, and along came another sample. It was been a while since that was gifted to me and I really appreciate it. Then this one, Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue. I won that bottle in a drawing, the same drawing where I won my, uh, uh, this thing that I put my currently inks in. So uh, that was really amazing when that happened. Okay, then next up, this one I kind of toyed with because this Birmingham ink looks a lot, well, not looks like, but it's very close to the sugar plum, but it is unique and different. And, and the way it ended up writing in that Twisby um, stub is, I'm just so glad I didn't change my mind. I almost did, but I've been wanting to really use this ink and try it out. I have a large sample of it. So there's that one. And then here, this was a little, um, I don't know, I just couldn't get my mind off this Sailor ink. This Riku Cha, I think that means tea. Anyway, it kind of goes on green. Then it ends up looking sort of like a bronze or a, or almost, I don't know. It just depends on the paper. But I, I thought that would be nice. It would coordinate with, maybe not with, um, I don't know. I think it's going to coordinate okay with some of these inks, but I'm not very good at that, actually. So, okay, then the uh, the next one is the J.R. Bond Amethyst uh, de Laurel, one of my very favorites. I need to fix that, too. I keep forgetting that's not spelled right. It has to have that E, and I just keep forgetting, but anyway, i um, like to have that correct. Okay, then the, the last but not least is Monteverde Purple Rain. So let's go right to the writing sample. Those are the inks. And uh, uh, this is my uh, Bond Travel Gear 68 GSM Tomoe River Notebook. And I'm going to bring it up as close as I can for you. And we'll do the pen test part with each one of these, starting with the Noodler's Ahab. <clears throat> okay, but I do need to remember to put it at the top. <laughs> Uh, actually, what do I want to put? I want to put February inked pens. Oh, that is nice. Let's see. Are you getting to see it good? I'm not sure. This could be a little bit challenging. I uh, wanted to make sure it at least uh, focuses and having a little trouble. Okay, well... As we go, I'm going to have to probably adjust. Okay, so noodlers. I think my hands are shaking. Ahab with a broad yo-wo nib. Oh, I'm hoping that will focus. Let's see. I really don't like it when it goes out of focus because that's where uh, you get to see a little bit more of what's going on. Okay. So I guess I better keep my hands up in there where it'll make it focus. Okay, and we've got Diamine, Red Dragon. Okay, it is going on very nicely. I really like that. <clears throat> if I have to give up the flex part because of inexperience, at least I'm getting a nice wet writer 
with that broad nib and that was really easy to pull that out too and use it you know switch it <clears throat> okay so here we go with moon man m 600s beautiful pen this is going to be really nice to write letters with okay i really don't understand maybe there's something i can put here cause it to focus or oh i'm not getting the focus i want at all i may have to stop and fiddle with that hmm Okay, ooh, another nice wet writer. Okay, so Moon Man. M600S. Yeah, I am gonna pause and do something. Okay, hopefully this will be better. I really hope so. Um, and this has also got a broad Yo-Wo nib on it. Having a little bit of trouble with the setup, which usually I don't have, so I'm, I'm really confused about why it's doing this. It's not wanting to focus at all. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, and we have in here, <laughs> totally lost my mind, I guess, the ink journal. Okay, well, you can see the wetness of the, the nib, at least. Sugar Plum. Nice. Very, very nice. I think I'm really going to enjoy that. <clears throat> I have to keep something there so it'll focus. Okay, next is the X750 with the pink finish. And Diamine Hope Pink. And a stub nib, which is going to be great for letter writing. Okay. X750. 1.5 Goulet nib. I really like that. And even though it's bright, I think it's going to be really nice. Um, <clears throat> I sure do apologize for all these technical difficulties. Diamine Hope Pink. I'm really glad to see that it looks so nice on the um, Tomoy River paper because I'll probably be using quite a bit of Tomoy River paper for my letter writing. Okay, I think I just sense a little improvement here. Next up is the Twisby Go in the Sapphire. Twisby Go, broad nib. A little bit of a, hopefully I don't have another color. Oh, that was a dud. Let's try again. <clears throat> Always trying to find a finger that isn't already got a different ink color on it. <laughs> okay, with Blackstone. Barrier. Reef. And I think it has blue, but I don't have the bottle right here to show me. Nice wet writer. This is going to be great for letter writing too. Even though some of these, um, this was a good pen ink match, but some of them aren't. But it, I do think that they're going to be great for the letters that I want to write. So I'm not too worried if the colors don't quite, <laughs> they just don't quite match up. Okay, so here's the Twisby uh, Eco in purple with a Twisby 1.1 stub. One point one, nice and wet. That's actually, I've uh, written with other inks where it just wasn't this uh, nice and juicy. So I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> It'll just make for nice letters. Oh, <laughs> now I'm working around the tripod. Okay, and we've got a Birmingham ink. One that I need to find out whether it's available in a bottle. Well, no, I don't, but but I'd like to know. Uh, Birmingham Boysenberry. There's more to the name, but uh, that's what the little sample said. I think it's like Southside Market Boysenberry is the full name. <clears throat> nice. See, I made a mistake there when I left the camera, to, or you know, when I went to try to get things to be a little bit better focused for you. <laughs> And, but I'm, I don't like to, I'm pretty sparing with this paper, so. Next is the Diplomat Magnum with a broad nib. And Sailor Riku Cha. 
I've got Diplomat. Oops, i got to remember to move things up a little. Magnum. Uh, this was all on purpose using all, uh, most of my nice broad and stub nibs because of the letter writing. I guess I probably said that three times. <laughs> but anyway, Sailor. Uh, and there's, I'll show you when I show you the report card because I just didn't have enough letter writing pens this month, but I was kind of committed. I didn't want to just start cleaning pans and starting over. I, I wanted to follow through with my choices. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can get a little smear there. So this kind of looks green. Yeah, it looks more green, but on, on some papers, I have noticed that it kind of looks bronze almost, but that's pretty. That actually, I like it when it shows up a little bit green like that. Okay, and then my note takers, my last two, uh, First would be the uh, Lamy Vista. Oh, I've got to do a little bit of off to the side here. This is a shimmer ink, so I really need to remember to to get it, um, you know, at least agitated a little. I saw that quite a bit of that shimmer gets kind of stuck, or not stuck, but, you know, it settles. And so it really does need to be agitated a little. Okay, here we go. And uh, quite a drastic change from all those broad and stub nibs, but we've got Lamy Vista Fine Nib. Okay, with J. Arbon Shimmer, <clears throat> Shimmer Ink, okay, and it's Amethyst De. Laurel. Okay, I gotta make room for a little tail there. All right, nice. Even for a fine nib, that's pretty good. And then last but not least, the Pilot Varsity that I just refilled myself and I'm so excited about. That is pen number eight. I actually have two more pens inked. As soon as I get this part done, I'll explain that. <clears throat> so this is Pilot Varsity with a medium nib and Monteverde Purple Rain. This was a pretty good match uh, for what came in the pan. It might be just a little bit lighter though. And of course that's quite a bit drier than these broad nibs were up, up above. But I think I'm really going to enjoy this. This is probably going to live right near my food journal. And I'll use it for note taking near my desk and all around. I usually go back and forth between the table and the desk. So there are the eight pens that I'll be writing mostly with this month. The other two that I have inked up, uh, I don't have them right with me, but it's because I'm just continuing. You've already seen them. One is a uh, Twisby Go with Lexington, with Noodler's Lexington Gray. That's for my process journal and it has a fine nib. And then the other one is attached to my bullet journal. That's a Twisby Go with a medium nib. And that has the Pilot Oroshizuku Kurosame. Okay, so we've got these in here. And um, we'll put the blotter page. And now the only thing left is to go back and look at what we had for January and how it went. I'll give you kind of a report card. I'm hoping I can get everything in the frame right here. Oops, wrong page. Very close. Okay, so I think just about everything is showing up. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so last month, the first one up was the Lamy Nex with a fine nib and Colorverse Gravity Wave. I found that was excellent. I gave it an A. It was really great for note taking and I used it and used it. So that was wonderful. Then the Wing Sung 3003 with the extra fine nib, which really wrote more like a uh, a fine medium with the Twisby Royal Purple. That was great too. I The only reason I gave it a B plus was because it, it didn't it actually go as well from uh, note taking on to letter writing, but that's being really picky. It was still really nice, really smooth, wet writer. So it was very enjoyable. And, and to me, a B plus is a good rank there. So then the KWZ Hawaii Blue in my Twisby Go with a broad nib, that was my favorite of the entire month. That was, oh, and I refilled it even. 
uh, somewhere in midpoint January, I refilled it and it's empty again. So it's over by my, my bathroom sink ready to be washed. It was my favorite matchup, especially for letter writing, but I would use it for anything, any, any paper that it'll hold. And it did really good on the CVS paper too. So then next was my Jin Hao 159 with a 1.1 Goulet nib with Noodler's Rome Burning. I gave it an A, very solid matchup. Um, I, th I can't remember which paper it was. It did go right through, but it wasn't a big deal. I just knew that when I was gonna write with it, I needed to be on Tamoy River or CVS Caliber, you know, my best paper. And um, it, there wasn't a lot of that kind of bleed through, but I, it, it was enough to make me slow down and, and kind of test it out ahead of time. But I, I, it's beautiful and it was worth the, you know, making sure that ahead of time that it wouldn't bleed through. And of course that was a stub nib too. So then next was Gen Hao X450 uh, with a medium goulet nib with fountain pen revolution blue black. And I gave that an A. That's just an excellent workhorse note taker. It's comfortable to write with. The, the ink flows out of that really, really well where some inks don't always. I mean, it's a medium Yowo nib. It's a nice nib. But uh, not every single ink will perform that way, especially on the drier, the paper, like the CVS. So it was excellent for note taking in, in the stuff I use. Then the next one was the Wing Sung 3008 with a Lamy medium nib and Noodler's Purple Mountain Majesties. Okay, I felt like I gave it a B plus. I said the nib doesn't show off the ink like a broad or a stub. It was still very nice. Um, all the choices th for January worked out pretty good, but I had a memory of this ink looking a lot different, and I know that's what it was. I'm used to seeing it in a broad nib. So next was the Lamy Safari with a broad nib and Noodler's Cactus Fruit Eel. That was a close second to the KWZ Hawaii Blue. Nice and bright, um, Maybe annoying for some people, but for me, I really like that bright ink, and I used it for letter writing all month. Okay, then last but not least, the Twisby Mini <clears throat> with a medium nib. I gotta get water. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, with Diamine Aqua Lagoon, that was really nice. On Tamoy River paper, it really looks really good. I found that it was, it, it appeared a little too light on the CVS Caliber, and even on the Rhodia. So in, in other words, I probably need to do a little bit of careful tuning on that nib uh, with some brass shim stuff and kind of open that up a little because it's nice, but it's not w writing wet enough for me. Of course, I'm used to the broads most of the time, so that could be part of it. Okay, then way down at the bottom, I put note to self, only three pens with broad or stub nib was challenging. Let's ink more broad and stubs for next month. Okay, so that's why I was harping on that, <laughs> that very thing for this month. So let's look, get the pens again. And, uh, I got everything kind of rigged trying to make sure that we could see, keep some sort of focus going. So that, that's how I ended up with what I chose this month was that I knew um, what my main task is gonna be. And I kept those two Twisby Goes inked up and attached to the journals that they're they're going to be writing. Oh, I guess I got some red dragon on me earlier. Huh, I didn't even ink that up today. So what was I doing? Because I inked it up yesterday. Uh, today is actually February 1st as I'm filming this, but as you're watching it, you could already be in tomorrow, which would be, <laughs> I don't know, or, or a week from now or years, who knows. So I hope you um, enjoyed this. Uh, I'm certainly pumped for this month. It's gonna be a great writing month. There's a lot of good stuff going on here and I'd love to hear about what you're gonna be doing. If you're gonna be writing letters one a day or if you're gonna be, um, how you're gonna use your pens and what are some of your matchups. And I'll talk with you later. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye for now.